Hello, we have set up a project radium cluster. By listing the cluster, you can see that there are two available servers. Server Mike, which has two V100 NVIDIA GPUs, and Server Galaxy, which has one MI100 AMD GPU. On top right, you can see NVIDIA SMI being executed in a loop on Mike machine. And on bottom right, you can see Rockham SMI being executed in a loop on Galaxy machine. This way, we can verify that GPUs are indeed used during our workloads. On left side is a terminal from CPU only machine Alpha. Let's first verify that there are no GPUs on Alpha machine by doing lspci command. Doing the same command on Mike, we'll see that there are two V100 NVIDIA GPUs. And doing the same command on Galaxy, we'll see that there is an AMD GPU. In the first example, we're going to demonstrate the possibility to migrate the execution of a thread to client or server at any given point in time. In this case, we are importing the socket. We then ensure that execution is happening on the client side. Then we print hello from client and hostname. Then we migrate execution to server and print hello from server and hostname. Then we migrate execution back to client and again print hello from client and hostname. As we haven't yet virtualized hostname, but instead we use hostname of the underlying machine, we are seeing different hostname being printed depending on which side execution is happening. Although this is a virtualization gap, it showcases our ability to migrate execution. And aside from prints, you can add more complicated stuff like importing TensorFlow. Now, let's go to the TensorFlow. Listing devices on the local machine will show only the presence of the CPU. However, you can ask Radio Manager for one NVIDIA slash CUDA GPU. And indeed, after some time, TensorFlow detects CPU and one GPU. As there are two NVIDIA GPUs in our cluster, we can request them from Radio Manager. And again, TensorFlow detects CPU as well as two GPUs. Now that listing the devices works, we'll run small TensorFlow MNIST COMNET example to show that workload is indeed executed on remote NVIDIA GPU. The startup has significant performance overhead, which we plan to optimize. However, after a few seconds, memory usage will increase and GPU compute will start. We can monitor that in the NVIDIA SMI on top right. Here is the memory increase.
and here we see the GPU activity. That's it. We've successfully executed TensorFlow workload on remote NVIDIA GPU. From the same CPU-only machine, we can execute TensorFlow workloads on the remote AMD GPU. Let's first list the devices. Here, we are requesting for one AMD GPU from the radio manager. After paying initialization performance penalties, we'll see that TensorFlow detects remote GPU. There are CPU and GPU devices detected. Now, let's check for compute. This time, we will execute a different small example of TensorFlow. After a few seconds, in bottom right, you'll see that GPU memory usage will increase. Here it is. and GPU compute should start soon. Yes, here it is. As you can see, with Project Radium, we are able to execute TensorFlow workloads not only on remote NVIDIA, but also on remote AMD GPUs. Have a good day!